morning queens good morning good morning um if you guys are not aware we are out on my back porch i want to give you guys a quick update as to what is going on in the garden i'm sorry my lens keeps fogging up because it's humid outside and the camera is cold so i'm going to try to keep this as clear as possible okay all right, so like I was just standing we're outside in my garden and it is six o'clock in the morning. Reason why I'm up so early is because in about 30, 45, in about 30 or 45 minutes, it's gonna be crazy out here. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be bugs and everything else underneath the sun. So I wanna give you guys a quick update as to what's going on in the veggie garden. And yeah, so let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, this is my habanado pepper plant. Um, if you guys can tell, you can already hear the traffic going. And we have quite a few peppers on here. As you guys can see, we do have a red one. And he's actually ready to come off, but I've been leaving him on there. And then we have this one here. And then we have another one on here somewhere, but I'm not going to dig around to try to find him. But this one started as one little single plant. If you guys remember, I got this one actually from the farmer's market here locally. And so it's been planting here in our garden for about three months now. And I'm mad excited, y'all. So I'm going to probably harvest that pepper this week, but just not right now. Um, if you guys remember, this is my avocado seed that I, this is my avocado plant i'm sorry that i started from a seed and as you guys can see it's been doing really really well um it's just been wilting a little bit on the leaves because it's just been so freaking hot and if you're wondering what this white stuff is it's some um you know bug repellent stuff or whatever but it's natural it's not going to harm the plant but i do see there's been a little spider underneath the leaf here so i need to just treat my plants again but this is avocado seed you guys um that started so this is my avocado plant and he will eventually have to go into a planter um these are my squash babies if y'all remember i started this garden from seeds and um i've been noticing that they'll bear fruit and then they just keep wilting off and i need to actually clean all this out of here um but that's been the only issue and i know it's been so freaking hot that's why you guys see the leaves as they are they're kind of like brown um it's just been so hot so i don't think it's quite yet squash season so i think that's why um they've actually been doing like they've been doing like right here bearing fruit and then they shrivel up and that's it so i haven't been able to harvest anything off the squash plant as of yet but i think starting probably in late august early september i think that's the harvest season for squash and this right here is my pride and joy my tomato plants and I know they look kind of like, like, girl, they look like they're dying, but they are not dying, y'all. They are pretty much still bearing a lot of fruit. Like, we had tomatoes showing up every freaking where, like right here. And you got another little baby right here. And then you got some more right here. And, I mean, they're just been showing up some of everywhere. You got one, some right here. To these tomatoes y'all like yes and so i've been very very happy and pleased again it's just been so hot that's why you see a lot of brown leaves and some of these i actually just need to like just you know kind of clean them up and everything like that and yeah so today i am going to water them let me check the soil yeah they need to be watered and see here like look at this whole plant just tomatoes y'all so we've been getting tomatoes but they're not quite ready not quite yet ready to harvest um it looks so nasty and i've been trying to make sure i keep the dead leaves out because that's what actually attracts little itty bitty spiders you guys and i don't have a pest problem so thank god i don't have to worry about that and then this is my basil plant the sun keeps burning him so that's why he looks like that now yesterday he was looking fine but apparently he got burnt <laughs> and I need to repot him actually so I may actually do that today um and then this is my other tomato plant now y'all remember I started these tomato plants well this one started from seeds well actually let's see this one started from seeds this one right here started from seeds but then you have this other one and um it's a green grape tomato you guys so yeah i have actual these this one right here and then these two right here are the actually the exact same kind of tomato but i don't remember what they are unfortunately <laughs> and then i have the other one which is going to be green grape which is these over here 
these bad boys so yeah we got quite a few going on out here you guys and i'm just so proud of my little garden i haven't come to you guys with much of an update because it has been much to update you on because i haven't been able to harvest anything like here's some more going on right here if you guys can tell and yeah so that's pretty much what's been going on in my garden these are the only ones that pretty much have survived um from when i started the garden back in march you guys and i'm actually pretty proud again the leaves look brown because again it's just been so freaking hot and two i haven't been over watering them because typically that's a sign too but that has not been the case it's been in the hundreds almost here every single day so my plants have been very appreciative of just getting you know extra you know water so i'm going to lightly water them today and i'm going to show you guys how i actually do that but this is my garden you guys oh and this is my okra y'all but i'm gonna have to just get rid of them they're not gonna make it but um yeah so i pretty much got two tomato plants a basil plant he's gonna get repotted and then i have my squash babies here and then i have my avocado seed and my habanado pepper plant Oh yeah, you guys, and I also have a red bell pepper plant, but he's going to get replanted. He needs to go into a bigger container. And like I was telling you guys, this is my bell pepper plant. He's not sick or anything like that. This is just how they'll do when there's no more room for the roots to actually grow in the pot. Um, you can water them all you want, but if they don't have like enough soil and enough room again for the roots to grow and expand, they'll just start to continue to wilt, to wilt, to wilt because it doesn't have enough room to grow. And this pepper has actually turned fully orange since being in the house for two days. That's funny because he hasn't been in any direct sunlight per se except for here at the back door of the oh house. and these are cutlings off of tomato plants you guys outside um there's three of them in here i just put them in here with some distilled water and some food so that they could stay you know alive but today i'm going to actually pot them in their own little starter containers so that way they can create their own individual tomato plants and these are all off of the um, tomato plant furthest to the left not the green grape tomato plant so i'm pretty proud of my garden you guys it's been actually doing pretty well but we're having to still wait to kind of harvest anything it's just been really hot the last few months and that's just really what it's been
Queen's veggie garden update again it hasn't been much that changed except for some fact is that we're still waiting to be able to harvest and like I stated my habanada pepper plant is really like the only one plant that I can harvest off of the one pepper and everything else is just waiting to bear fruit now my avocado tree that's gonna take about a couple years before I even see one avocado on there and if you guys are wanting to see more of like how I upkeep the garden and everything on like a day-to-day -day basis I can definitely come to you guys with a video about that like um things that you need to have if you're starting your garden easy quick tips and how to actually just you know stay encouraged while actually creating your own at home container garden then definitely definitely i would love to come to you guys with a video about that so let me know in the comment section down below queens thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you guys in my next video bye queens